You know, Stephen, uh, we really don't have that much time, and I've, there's so much I want to ask you. The first single from this record is called Indecision, the mm-hmm. song you played uh, in the last half hour. It's as if you're musing about the road not taken. Now you've taken a road. Right. Uh, how much of recording this solo record has been about having the guts to do something you've wanted to do for a long time? I think a lot of it. You know, I... I uh... You know, I did the Vanity Project, which came out in 05, and I've done other stuff on the side, but you know, when you're doing side things, it always just kind of felt felt like it was kind of cheating on the band. And I think they probably felt like that too, you know, supportive but nervous. You don't want to be in competition with your with your main thing. And uh, now that I was on my own, as soon as I was on my own, I kind of knew that I had to get to work right away because I would have just, otherwise you overthink it. And... Uh, Going in, nervous about making the record, and as soon as I was in the studio, I did it with this guy, John Fields, who's great, and he, uh, you know, we just started working. We just started playing, and it just felt great right away and easy, and it was a huge confidence booster and for is, me. And is it the, these songs wouldn't make the cut with Bare Naked Some Ladies, or is it that your writing changes? Your what what comes out of you musically is different, and you need you needed to sever ties with with the, the the guys, the ladies, to be able to do that. It was a whole mix of things, but I mean that's part of it. You do change, and I think also because I was. Uh, such a prominent part of the sound of the band. You know what? You bring your songs to the other guys. They know you so well. It's not. It's it's hard. For, I think it's hard for them to get excited about the new material. And also with the, the stuff I that had gone on in my life in the last couple of years before that, I wasn't writing a lot. It was hard for me to get stuff done. But as soon as I was, as I was, on my own, out of both sheer terror and also excitement and inspiration, mm-hmm. I got a lot more writing done all, all, right away. And I did have like that's indecision was written. A while ago, f- before the split and so on, it was an opportunity to, to use it. And you know that, that the theme of indecision was something that I used a lot in my BNL songs. You know, there's a song called "The Upside Down," which kind of deals with the same thing. And I actually, the New Shore, which I started with today, kind of res- is like a response song to "Upside Down." I mean, you haven't been a shrinking violet. You've been doing stuff with Stratford. You did the Art of Time stuff. But, uh, you know, one of the ways, it's a good record, man. And, and, and one of the things that I, I almost feel is like you're doing it. You're, you, yeah. you know, you are, this is, you, or you've done it. Yeah, here, you, you, here you, got it is. you have to go for it. Well, here, here's one. I, I mean, what, was there a point at, at any time in the last couple of years, or even before that, as you knew you were leaving Bare Naked mm-hmm. Ladies, and whether they kicked you out or whether you stomped out of the room, whatever yeah. it was, where you thought, can I do this? Am oh, I absolutely? You know, even within the band, I was. Uh, I think one of the one of the issues that where there was friction over the last few years was, you know, my level of. I didn't know what I could offer them anymore, especially because everybody else in the band was growing so much and becoming more confident. You know, f- so for instance, you know, Kevin and Jim writing great songs and having worthwhile voices in the band. Well, the best thing I could offer the group was my singing and my writing. You know, like my guitar playing, whatever. It's like, like that wasn't. So I felt like less and less like I had importance. That's not how they saw me, but that's how I felt in, inside that situation. So now it was, it was all mine. And that's like you kind of get what you're, what you're hoping for, but it's also scary. And you think, well, am I fooling myself? Am I actually capable of this? You know, I've worked with the same guys for so long. And then to get in the studio and start making this. And then, you know, working with a new band and so on, teaching these guys who've, you know, all the old songs, cause like the BNL songs that we play together as well as the new stuff. It's it, it really does it made it's made things very easy and fun. Hmm. You know, I look I really look forward to playing every time we do. It. You know, you joke about we joked about doing interviews and talking about drugs and and you having you know you avoid the interview you won't have to talk about drugs. You know, that's not something that I've chosen we've chosen to really no, focus on. And, and when it, you did the big interview here after the the breakup, we didn't I'd focus much on that. I just don't think it's. I mean, if it had been a huge part of your life for 20 years, maybe it was something that we would need to talk about, but it, it didn't seem like... And yet, Apart from the Swiss blood transfusion that I had. <laughs> but, I mean, I, I got to say, I mean, this past week, and not to you know oh. condemn anybody else on that. No, but it's been drugs. This drugs, past drugs. week, CTV ran this in-depth feature about you, everything you've been through. I mean, it, was, it felt sort of inside editionish, like this like you know turmoil that Stephen Page has been through. I guess that's what people are interested in talking about. What's it like for you to see so much of your private life displayed on TV th- th- that way? And, and tell me about the decision to decide to do interviews like that. I mean, you're there talking about it, uh, about your relationships and your drugs and mm-hmm. all of that. Uh, why? Uh, you know what? I kind of feel like... Uh I hate being a politician about stuff. I just if people want to talk about it, fine. Like I'm not hiding. I don't want to hurt anybody's feelings. And I felt bad about the way the the CTV piece was cut because they, they were very easy to deal with, work with when I was when we were doing the piece over the last few months. 
but it's cut in a way that it's like you got to have a good guy and a bad guy and the rise and the fall and the the, the dramatic music and the slow mo, right. and it's like that's not what any that's not what anybody's life is like. And uh, you know, I think it prob- probably uh, the way it was put together upset the other guys in the band too, and that's not what I would want to do. Um, but you're also you're in the Globe today. I mean, you know, I don't want to pick on CTV yeah. either. They're just doing their yeah. gig. You know, but I finally I was just I, I, I avoided you're, you're watching. You're in the that Globe today. Night. There's a thing in the Globe today that says. You know, Stephen Page says he will never work with uh, bare naked ladies again. Yeah. You know, I mean, there's that's a CP uh, uh, Newswire thing. Uh, d- why are you talking about that? Why, why, well, because you know, people ask. They say, uh, "Are you going to get back together?" I say, no, I'm, we're not going to get back together. Uh, <laughs> right. uh, but I have nothing against you know. In the future, I think we're both trying to d- kind of forge our own paths. And you know, if there's a, an event where we can sing some songs together, I'm not against that. But I'm not going to be in the band again. And that's the way I say it. But. When they put it in the paper, they cut rid of, they get rid of all that stuff and just make it like he hates these guys. <laughs> right, 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 right. I actually I saw I bumped into Ed and Tyler last night at this gala we were at, and I, after all this stuff, I was kind of like I was nervous, but I just went over and kind of. Well, I think we, yeah. we we cleared the air, which was great. It was nice, a huge load off of my chest. To be oh, that. that's nice to hear. Yeah. You 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 chatted and and, and what they say? Oh, I think they appreciated it, and I mean, you know, they're, they're just they don't know what to think, and I just yeah. said I don't want. You know, I, I wish the same thing for them that I wish for myself. You know, we're uh, we had a long history together, and I'm proud of it. Well, listen, uh, congrats on this record. I'm glad we had the chance to uh, have you play three songs from it and focus on the music today, man. It's 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 a great piece of work. I, I look forward to people seeing your tour across the country. Always good to have you. Thanks, here. thanks for having me. We'll, on. we'll keep doing it again and again. Stephen Page, new record is called Page One. Hugh at CBC.ca, Twitter, Gian Gameshi. Thanks very much for listening. To be continued. <laughs>